Are you having problems with your VPN not working with uh, BBC iPlayer? Um, it's you're definitely not alone. Um, over the last two or three years, BBC has really clamped down on their um, blocking VPN services and um, basic proxy services. And lots of people who used to have no problem watching BBC outside the UK um, will find themselves without their favourite uh, TV programmes. Uh, I'm In this video, I'm just going to go through uh, a few of the the main reasons and what you can possibly do to rectify it. Okay, so um, as we all probably know, BBC, to watch BBC iPlayer, it's completely free. But if you're outside the UK, you need to hide your location. So you make it, you have to make it look like you're in the uh, you're in the UK. Uh, and one of the number one problems uh, that people have had with their VPN services not working is this one. Um, basically, BBC iPlayer is trying to block them, and it is effectively blocked at least 90% of VPN connections coming in through to um, BBC iPlayer. It's scanning and it blocks those VPN servers or specifically the IP addresses that are assigned to them, um, which people are using to spoof their, um, their location. Um, there's a, a few problems with uh, with this, really. Um, one of the main ones is that um, some of the VPN services are just, just using the same old IP addresses for years and years and years, and they're all on blacklists for VPN services, and they just don't work anymore. Um, the BBC is also ac actively blocking them, um, meaning that it looks for concurrent connections. So if there's 20,000 people all streaming the same BBC iPlayer programs to one single IP address. It's obvious it's an IP address. It can be blocked automatically. It doesn't even need any time and effort. Um, you can put it into IP tables or uh, on uh, routers and firewalls and just block automatically. Uh, I should point out here, there's not an awful lot you can do. If, if, if you're having this problem and your VPN service is being blocked, just go and... Um, Try different IP addresses. Most VPN services will have loads of UK servers. Just switch ones, preferably in a different range. Um, the one I would recommend if you are having this issue is um, NordVPN because they optimize servers. So here is a list of about 40, I think, um, UK servers in um, NordVPN's basic subscription but they optimize these for access to BBC iPlayer and you can see here instead of going in and searching and connecting to any UK server you'd pick one of these numbers like 1850 1851 let me just show you the uh, NordVPN interface here so you would put in 1850 there and search connect to the UK UK 1850 now this these servers are actually um optimized they're um what they do is they wrote change the ip addresses and watch the number of people connecting to them so they don't have too many people accessing bbc iplay at the same time it's too much work to to, to monitor hundreds of uk servers which nord have got so they just focus on 40 so use those if you're using nordvpn ask your vpn service they might they might have something similar okay next reason it's kind of obvious this, but sometimes you need to check that your VPN actually has got UK servers. Um, sometimes they register them as UK servers, but they're not, you know. Um, it, it sounds obvious, but believe me, loads of people fall foul of this. Uh, if you want to double check, the easiest is just find a What's IP program. Uh, this is one I use, gps-coordinates.org which will go and look at where your IP address is resolving. So in my case, you've just seen me connect to uh, a VPN server and it resolves to London. Double check it's in the UK because if it isn't, it won't work. Full stop. Okay, next one is... I've, I touched on this in the first and, and this is how BBC iPlay mainly detects. It's got blacklists. It's got known IP addresses of VPNs, um, but it also looks for um, too many users connected. But this also causes another problem. If too many users are streaming to the same server, it's just too slow to stream. 
and if you get um, cutouts, buffering, stutters, or the, the stream doesn't start, it's likely too many people are using it and the VPN is too slow. Um, particularly if you've got lower bandwidth or you're connecting from a long way away. So if you were in Australia connecting to a UK VPN server, which is connected to the BBC iPlayer, it can get slow. So try changing uh, <coughs> servers again or um, reducing the quality. Don't stream high definition. Go to SD. You can change those in the streaming properties. Uh, next one. Um, again, this is kind of linked. Certain VPNs um, don't offer the enough bandwidth for high quality streaming. Um, they basically cap the uh, amount of data you can stream. So it, this is this is because it makes it much cheaper for them and they can bring their prices down and increase their profits. Um, check that your VPN works with um, streaming. Uh, if they if they cap it or restrict it, it won't work. Or if it does, it'll be painful to use. Last one. Now, this is the, the, the first um, troubleshooting tip and uh, about changing IP addresses is important. And the fifth one here is very important as well. Um, your browser's cache and cookies might be giving the game away, okay? If you've been connecting to other sites or you connect to BBC iPlayer outside the UK and a little piece of information cookie is stored on your computer t saying that you're in Mongolia or South Africa or whatever, um, it can spoil your ability to hide your location. Um, so clear those cookies, restart your browser or even your computer or device or whatever that. Make sure you change um, time zones if you're on uh, a device like an, uh, an iPhone or an iPad. Don't have it set to um, Central American time. Have it set to a British Standard Time or GMT uh, to make sure it works. Uh, one handy tip that I always use, and it's it makes life much easier, as I have two browsers... I have a, a browser Chrome, in fact, in my case, I use for my normal browsing, and I use Firefox just for streaming BBC iPlayer, so I only use Firefox when I'm connected to a UK VPN service, so I've got a UK, complete UK identity. It's really handy, it doesn't matter which two browsers, just keep one separate for streaming BBC. Um, okay, well, I hope that helps, um, that's my troubleshooting tips. I've been watching BBC iPlayer for... Uh, from abroad for 17, 18, maybe longer years. Um, you get these odd little problems, but if you pick a good VPN service, switch IP addresses regularly, you'll find it should work. Um, there are, if you're stuck with a Duff VPN service, it just won't work. So if you tried loads of IP addresses, just try and get your money back or switch to one that works. Um, I say I recommend NordVPN. There are others that work, so it's just not NordVPN, but um, hey, they're cheap, so I go with those, and it works pretty well. Okay, you can find a, a link for the dis latest discounts uh, in my description below. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.